The Battle of Actium, fought on September 2, 31 BC, stands as a pivotal moment in the transition from the Roman Republic to the Roman Empire. This climactic naval engagement between the forces of Octavian later Emperor Augustus and Mark Antony, along with Cleopatra Roman VII of Egypt, marked the culmination of years of political intrigue, power struggles and military campaigns. In this article, we delve into the historical context, key players, and profound implications of the Battle of Actium on the fate of the Roman Republic. Chapter 1 – Political Turmoil in the Roman Republic By the 1st century BC, the Roman Republic was beset by internal strife, corruption and power struggles among competing factions. The first triumvirate, comprising Julius Caesar, Pompey the Great, and Marcus Licinius Crassus, had collapsed, leading to a period of civil war and political instability. Following Caesar's assassination in 44 BC, his adopted heir Octavian emerged as one of the principal figures vying for control of Rome. Chapter 2 Rivalry between Octavian and Mark Antony The rivalry between Octavian and Mark Antony intensified following the demise of Caesar. Antony, a distinguished general and supporter of Caesar, allied himself with Cleopatra Roman VII of Egypt, forming a powerful political and military partnership. Meanwhile, Octavian, Caesar's grandnephew and adopted son, sought to consolidate his authority and challenge Antony's dominance in Rome. Chapter 3 the rise of Octavian in the years leading up to the Battle of Actium, Octavian skillfully navigated the political landscape, forging alliances and building support among key factions in Rome. He portrayed himself as the defender of traditional Roman values and the champion of stability and order. Meanwhile, Antony's association with Cleopatra and his perceived extravagance and decadence alienated many in Rome, weakening his position. Chapter 4 Prelude to battle the tensions between Octavian and Antony came to a head in 32 BC when the Roman Senate declared war on Cleopatra, effectively declaring war on Antony as well. The stage was set for a decisive confrontation. In 31 BC, the naval forces of Octavian and Antony clashed near the promontory of Actium, off the coast of Greece. Antony and Cleopatra's fleet, though formidable, faced logistical challenges and defections, while Octavian's forces were well prepared and highly motivated. Chapter 5 The Battle of Actium on September 2, 31 BC The Battle of Actium commenced with a fierce naval engagement. Antony and Cleopatra's fleet, comprising warships and galleys from Egypt and the eastern Mediterranean, initially gained the upper hand. However, Octavian's forces, under the command of skilled admirals like Agrippa, executed a brilliant tactical maneuver, encircling and outmaneuvering the enemy fleet. The battle culminated in a decisive victory for Octavian, leading to the collapse of Antony and Cleopatra's forces. Chapter 6 Aftermath and Legacy The aftermath of the Battle of Actium marked the end of the Roman Republic and the beginning of the Roman Empire under the sole rule of Octavian, who later assumed the title of Augustus. The defeat of Antony and Cleopatra solidified Octavian's power and established the Pax Romana, a period of relative peace and stability in the Mediterranean world. The Battle of Actium thus represents a defining moment in the history of Rome, shaping the course of Western civilization for centuries to come. Conclusion The Battle of Actium stands as a testament to the transformative power of military conflict and political ambition in shaping the destiny of nations and empires. As we reflect on this pivotal moment in Roman history, we are reminded of the complex interplay of individuals, institutions and historical forces that propelled the Roman Republic towards its ultimate demise and paved the way for the rise of the Roman Empire under Augustus.